but so far we haven't got any user interface for the admins to interact with so let's sort that out so what we want to do is come over to our users controller and that's under app http controllers admin user controller and instead of returning the string here we want to return a view and we haven't created this view yet but we're going to put it under admin users dot index and that'll just allow us to group all our admin users views into one folder so let's make that now so if we come under the root of the project resources views and we want to create a new folder and we want to call this admin and then inside of the admin folder we want to create another folder and we want to call this users so all our admin user views will go into this one folder so everything's organized and easy to find let's create that view now and we're going to call this index.blade.php and now for a basic layout i'm just going to open up the home.blade.php file and i'm just going to copy this code and paste it into our index file so let's rename the header to users and let's just get rid of the card body for now let's just refresh our page and you see it's just a string at the moment and now we get our users page we haven't got any users on there yet so let's get that data so over in our users controller remember when we created the controller we passed in a model of user so up here we've got use app user so it's already brought that model into the controller for us so down in our index method let's get them users so let's create a variable called users and that is going to equal user and we're just going to say get all users it really is that easy and next we just need to pass that data down to the view so to do that we can call the with method and there are a few ways to pass data down uh, but just for a couple of things like this i like using the with method and the with method takes in a name that will be a variable in the view so we're just going to use users again and it needs the data and that is in the users variable so over in our index.blade.php file all we need to do now is just loop over and print them users out but to do that we can use for each which is built into blade and we called it users we can say for each users as user and then we just end the for each now and then inside this for each loop what we can do is we can just then print out some of the users data so let's say user name and then let's just put a hyphen and then let's print out the user email let's take a look at this in the browser and obviously you've only got the one user in here at the moment which you registered and it obviously gives you the name and the email address so you can already see how we're starting to list out the data from the database now for the admin to start editing but you may have noticed that anyone can access this forward slash admin forward slash users url at the moment even if they're not registered yet so to fix that come over to our users controller and at the top of the class create a new public function and we're going to make a construct and then inside of here we're going to call the auth middleware that's built into laravel so to do that it's this middleware and we want to run the auth middleware so now any of these methods inside of the users controller when they're called the auth middleware will run first and that'll check whether there's a logged in user or not and if there's no logged in user they'll be redirected to the login page so that gives this some protection but you're probably also thinking any registered user can also access this and that is correct because at the moment we don't have any concept of roles within the application so in the next video let's create our roles model and create the migrations for our database